guys, Cindy Oda here, Marks Endeavors. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good today. Um, I have a whole bunch of stuff on my mess, on my desk, and what I'm here today to do is a video for my muse. Um, these are just some flowers that somebody had sent to me on an envelope that I cut out. That I cut out. Aren't they beautiful? I I wish I remember the artist's name, but I don't. But they're gorgeous. So I'm going to be using those today. Anyways, what I'm going to do today, this is for my muse, for my creative year. And I've been sitting here looking at all these different scraps and stuff, wondering what am I going to do with all this stuff? Well, a while back I was taking pieces of canvas and I was just putting all random stuff together and making these uh, embellishments, I guess is what you call them. Um, I just, I was having fun with them. I used a little bit of extra canvas here. I did some stapling might have done a little bit of gluing or sticking I don't know but I thought today you know I'm in the mood to just um, turn on my camera to play playing all the goodies I have hanging out here on my desk and just chill and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that I am gonna fast forward through the process and then I'll show you guys everything I complete in the end all right I hope you guys enjoy now before I get started I want to give you guys an idea of what I'm gonna be using um, this is a time uh, Tim Holtz Tiny Tiny Attacher, I think is the name of it, something like that. I have a regular stapler here. I've got some Craft Bond Quick Dry Glue. Of course, I'm going to be using scissors. I don't have any out here yet, but um, here's my thought. I've got, I'm going to start with like a harder base, so like a card stocky type base. These aren't real, really heavy, but I want something heavier. I don't want a real light piece of page, you know, a light piece of paper. Um, Things like this, this is made out of uh, some paper from the Dina Wakely um, art journal. And you know, I'll be using pieces and bits of that. And then I have all these little random bits that I just kind of pulled out of my jug, or out of my box, I should say. And so I'm gonna be using some of those. I've got some die cuts here. I don't know what I'm gonna end up using. I've got some washi tape here. And I also, oh, I've got a little odds and ends here. Um, for texture, I want to use up some of these uh, papers, which are the, the, I don't know what you call them. They're the papers that have the fibers in them, and they just, they have, that doesn't belong in there. Um, they have a texture to them. Can you see it? So yeah, these are going to be um, involved, or included, or used, however I want to put it. Look at this one. This is an old piece, I think, of wallpaper. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? So anyways, this is the supplies I'm going to use. And then the other thing that I brought out, um, this is just a little bucket of goodies I've thrown in here. So that's going to be used up. These are journal pages. And these are journal pages that um, I made a long, long time ago. And I think it was for a class. I'm not positive. But, you know, I'm going to just use bits and pieces of these. Um... I mean, that right there would be a great start. I don't think I could use the girl, but um, this right piece here is a piece of cardboard. And it's got some metal and some stuff on it. See? So, you know, I'm going to use bits and pieces out of these pages um, just to do something with. I don't know. Here's some just painted ones. Again, these all came from a journal that I only had a few pages done in. I decided to take them out and get rid of the rest of the journal because I have so many journals. I, I want to work in the ones that I love, and that's where this came from. So here's a few more pages. These are out of, out of a different journal, I think. I'm not sure. But, yeah. So I'm going to use some of my own art back into my own art. All right. I also have a box of words here. And I have, um, these are all some die cuts. And then I have a box here full of, hang on, let me get it, um, fabric scraps. These are all printed on. I might use those. I'm not sure. Um, but just a bunch, a load of fabric straps. Every, scraps. I cannot talk today. Sorry, guys. My fibro tongue apparently is in, in uh, possession of my brain right now. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to play around. We're going to play around with some of these scraps and let's see what I can come up with. All right, I hope you guys enjoy and we will chat at the back end.
so for some reason I thought I had the camera on I kept on making and guess what I didn't but I'm going to show you guys the final um, let's start out with the one that I used for inspiration if I can find it which is right here remember I told you I was going to do these little um, just pieces so this is the one that I used for my inspiration and these are the ones that I made this one says say yes to a new adventure um, good times let's see what else I've got here this one says have faith in you whoops sorry um, and it's got the little tassel this is just I don't know some kind of a resin button I've had for a while just some fabric couple different types of paper and it says have faith in you this one you guys saw me make um, this is just an old piece of artwork that I did quite a while ago I've torn out some pages and I'm using them in my new art basically these are some um, nail polish flowers that um, many many years ago I got that idea from Secret Soto and I really enjoy doing those here's another one this is a piece of canvas that had this kitty cat on it it used to be sold by canvas corp um, I don't know if it still is but check with uh, one two three I think is the name oh, I can't remember um, check on Shannon Green's channel and there's a shop that she's working with right now um, that had purchased some of the canvas corp stuff and I don't know if they still sell it or not but you can check there and that one just says dream um, this one this is a resin doll that I did a long time ago um, using alcohol inks. I just played around with it. Um, you know, just again, paper. This is a project that I made a while ago. I've been tearing up the paper and it just says perfect. Bunch of fabric, you know, some odds and ends. That was fun. Um, this one here I really like. I love how this one turned out. And this is just a die cut of a pelican or flamingo pelic I don't know whatever it's in blue so I'm not sure if it's either and um, this is some ribbon I found while I was antiquing some lace um, just some textured paper um, odd and end paper a little bit of fabric and this one just says be awesome today um, here's another one uh, this just says wonderful again an old piece of canvas um, some papers some fabric um, just odds and ends um, a lot of these are stapled together. There is some glue in some of them, but mostly I use staples on them. Same thing here, an old piece of paper, a piece of art. This is, came from a piece of canvas. Um, just this little ball hanging down here. And this one says, my very favorite days are those spent with you. I just thought that was kind of cool. And then last but not least, this one, um, again, a long piece of canvas. Uh, this is actually a little barrette that um, goes uh, used to go on my pucky dog. Well, I didn't use it. It's brand new. But I just poked a hole through the canvas and then I clipped the barrette on there. So we have this little um, bow type thing here. This is an old flower that I made years ago. And basically what I did is I took a bunch of wire and I put it in the shape of a flower. And then I cut out a piece of fabric and then I sewed it um, to the wire which that was fun to do and like I said just odds and ends a little bit of this hanging off here and there so there you go there are my let me go back out I'll widen them up so you can see them all there is my muse for this month um, I hope it gives you some ideas and some inspiration to go ahead and take some of that old art that you've made that you're like eh, what am I gonna do with it um, take some die cuts some fabric some you know just a little bit of everything and make yourself some little goodies I will probably use these on my art journal pages um, you know some of them I may just send away in happy mail all right so I hope you guys have enjoyed as always don't forget to have fun that's what life's all about happy creating I'll talk to you guys soon thanks for watching bye